Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to read One Rainy Day. It's springtime right now, and although there's lots of sun, sometimes there might be a rainy day as well. The author of this story is M. Christina Butler. The illustrator of this story is Tina McNaughton. One Rainy Day. Pitter-pat, pitter-patter, pitter-pat, little hedgehog woke to the sound of raindrops. Hooray, he cried happily. It's raining at last. I can wear my new raincoat, hat, and boots, and try out my lovely umbrella. Little hedgehog wriggled into his shiny new boots as quickly as he could. He ran outside and opened his umbrella with a pop. Pitter-patter, pitter-pat, the raindrops bounced all around him. This is great, Little Hedgehog laughed, spinning the umbrella around and around and splashing in the deepest puddle he could find. Is there room under that umbrella for me? came Mole's small voice from nearby. I'm getting very wet out here. Goodness me, you are wet, Mole. Here, take my umbrella, said Little Hedgehog. What are you doing out in the rain? My house is full of water, replied Mole sadly, and I am looking for somewhere to dig a new home. I'll come and help you, Little Hedgehog offered. Thank you, said Mole, smiling. Mole snuggled under the umbrella and danced down the path in front of Little Hedgehog. Then, all at once, a gust of wind turned the umbrella inside out. Little Hedgehog raced after Mole as he was swept off the ground. Help! cried Mole. Little Hedgehog, help! I've got you! yelled Little Hedgehog, holding on to Mole's foot. Little Hedgehog pulled with all his might. They wibbled and they wobbled, and then they both fell over. Bump! Are you all right, Mole? asked Little Hedgehog, picking himself up. Mole nodded. But... It is a bit blowy today. Can we look for my new home tomorrow? Good idea, replied Little Hedgehog. We'll go back to my house and try again in the morning. But just when they thought the wind had passed, a huge gust tossed them like autumn leaves high into the air. The umbrella fell safely in the river with a splash. Little Hedgehog dropped safely inside it, but Mole fell straight into the water. Help, he gasped and spluttered. Give me your paw, Mole, shouted Little Hedgehog. Mole scrambled into the umbrella as it bobbed its way down the river. Thank you, Little Hedgehog, he whispered, shivering. But then he sat up. I can hear someone shouting. It was Fox waving from the bank. Over there, Fox yelled, pointing. Mouse and her family are trapped. The water is flooding the meadow. Can you rescue them? Come on, Mole, said Little Hedgehog. Let's go. He pulled two sticks from the river and with Mole's help paddled the umbrella boat across to the mice. The water was getting higher and higher. We're coming, called Little Hedgehog as the frightened mice swung to and fro on the grass. Then, one by one, he and Mole lifted Mother Mouse and her babies gently into the umbrella. Twisting and turning on the swirling waters, Little Hedgehog and Mole paddled hard towards the safety of the bank. Safe and sound, said Fox, helping them out. Let's go to Badger's house to dry off. When they arrived, they found Badger very grumpy. You'd think there was plenty of room outside for the rain without it coming through my roof, he snapped, watching the water drip, drip on his floor. But Little Hedgehog had a wonderful idea. He opened his umbrella and pushed it through the roof, so the umbrella caught all the drips. Splendid, cried Badger. Three cheers for Little Hedgehog, and now let's have some cocoa. And warm and dry, the friends curled up by the fire and told Badger all about their rather rainy day. The end. Goodbye, boys and girls.